What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Got a new light to try out. This is for your refugio. My buddy Logan from Reef Breeders sent it over for me. And uh, I'm going to show you what it's all about. And uh, for you guys to be the judge of whether or not you should get it. The price point on this is $60. And the quality of it is really good. And for $60, bucks, it's not going to break the bank at all. That's what I'm talking about going to do a good job comes with a total of six leds five of the red leds and one of the blue leds the leds are five of the 660 nanometer deep red leds and one of the 450 nanometer uh, royal blue leds which is pretty good which would pretty much what the plants want the macro algae that you want to do it you could throw mangroves under here uh, Chato, primarily Chato, and uh, the mount is pretty nice because it's all rubber and the screw even is uh, plastic. This will fit up to a 12 inch tank, pretty much for rimless uh, setups. Uh, you can see it comes with a nice rubberized sleeve, and this is how uh, one way you could do it if you had a sump. Um, I'm having this over my 25 gallon Innovative Marine Lagoon tank. And it's going to cover approximately up to 12 inches. So if you bought one, it would cover 12 inches. If you bought two, uh, 24 easily. I don't know if this thing is waterproof or not. But you just saw I totally dumped it in the water. And it's still working. still working to this day. I don't recommend that you dump it in water. But I was messing around with the uh, light. So I am not going to keep it like this. I am going to move it a little bit closer down to the intake of my uh, Innovator Marine and I'm going to throw some Chato in there. I'm definitely going to keep running this light with the uh, protein skimmer that I have there. Uh, they're just going to do great the Chato and the, and the protein skimmer. Protein skimmer is pulling out some mean junk but for this light refugium that's going to be pretty sweet. A little bit of macro algae to help out it's not going to hurt my uh, tank at all. This is the way I prefer to mount it. Um, you know, right down there, it still has plenty of room to get some ventilation. And uh, it looks pretty cool in this uh, tank. I may just leave this uh, in a reverse cycle or I could just run it 24-7. Uh, I know a lot of you prefer the reverse cycle when the main display lights turn off. Then the refugium lights kick on. I could do that with a timer. But uh, we'll see how I do it. I think it does look pretty cool. And the uh, light spill is not too bad at all. But we'll definitely do a follow-up video uh, with some Chato, the Chato growth on this tank and how this light does with that Chato. I uh, can't wait to use it. And uh, and we'll definitely do a follow-up video of this light and how it goes and things like that. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you're thinking about getting this light, you just want to visit the site and see, you know, what more, a little bit more information for it for it click the link down below uh it'll be my reef readers link if you decide to purchase from there i get a little bit of credit and helps my channel out so anyways let's go ahead and pit this light directly over the tank so you can see how well the coverage is you can see the spread and of course if you push the light up a little bit more it's going to cover the tank really nice for the most part this 24 inch lagoon is pretty well lit up now the recommended, you know, 10 inches, 12 inches, but um, it's doing a pretty good job lighting up my tank. Uh, if you're doing anything bigger than this, I definitely recommend two bulbs, two of these lights, and it won't hurt at all. Let me know what you guys think about the light. As you can see, it's lighting up pretty well. Um, and let me know if you guys are running uh, regular CFL bulbs, if you're ready to move over to a nice LED refugium light like this. And uh, what you think about it on the 25-gallon Mar Innovative Marine tank? I think it looks pretty sweet. I could pit it down a little bit more closer so I can have absolutely zero light spill. But I think like this is the best option so that way I can get still have airflow and all that good stuff. Well, guys, you have a good one. Like, subscribe, and we'll check you out in the next video. Have a good one, guys.